Hi everyone, welcome to the cold start video for the 2002 Turbo. Uh, it's quite a warm summer's day here. I'll just point it at the engine. Just reading 22 on the top, 21, 22. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Hi everyone, welcome back to um, the, this is the on the road video for the BMW 2002 Turbo 1975 um, as owned by Sergeet. Uh, if you haven't watched it already, please check out the Meet the Owner video. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're just on the streets just around Leamington and we're going to go on a, um, a little B road so we can uh, get the car up to a little bit more speed and video what it's like to drive. So um, I will just turn the camera around a little bit so you can see where we are. So we're just going into a 50 zone at the moment and Sergi now is in fourth gear. So how does the clutch feel Sergi? Absolutely as it should, it's, there are no issues with it whatsoever, it's a very tight clutch. And where's roughly your biting point on the clutch? Um, let's see. Yes, about halfway down. About halfway, yeah. good, okay. Um, and how does the gearbox feel? The gearbox is lovely, it's been, um, been rebuilt and it's a five speed good tank box, which is uh, now absolutely perfect working on it. Yeah, and uh, I had a little feel of the gearbox when uh, it was stationary. It's so tight, isn't it? The ratio between the gears. Indeed, it's, yes, isn't it? it does feel really, really nice. Um, so yeah, gearboxes on these cars are just way ahead of their time, I think, when you consider how old this car is. Oh yeah. Um, okay, so clutch is good, the gears are good. How does it feel in terms of steering and suspension? Steering side, suspension is hard as it should be. Yeah. Yes. And as a passenger, you know, these seats are super uh, supportive, but you certainly can feel everything, can't you? They are really quite uh, sport seats. Yes, they're exclusive to the 2002 Turbo. Yeah. TII or the, the, the 2002 only has uh, more conventional seats, but they made these specially, as I said, just for the turbo. Mm. Okay, so yeah, and as a passenger, uh, you know, we're on this little B road as you can see, following this Peugeot here. Hopefully, it'll turn off in a bit. Um, and uh, Sergi's having a little bit of a spirited drive here. <laughs> Uh, but as a passenger, in terms of um, uh, the ride, uh, I can't feel any suspension issues. I can't hear any any nasty knocks or rattles. It certainly feels quite good for a, a car that's just over 40 years old. It does feel quite firm, doesn't it, Sergi? It's very firm, yeah. yeah. It's good, good size, isn't it? 
sits, sits on the road very well. Yeah, no, it does. It does feel good. Have you had any mechanical work um, done to it in your ownership? Yes, I had the gearbox rebuilt. Yeah. Um, also the turbo rebuilt. Okay. Yeah. I bet those were expensive builds. They were they? expensive, but um, I felt that they needed doing, and I like to keep the cars the way it likes to drive them. Okay. Yep. No, that's very good. So mechanically, oh, this is a a good test there. That's why I was just quiet going over the speed bump. Um, absolutely no. Uh, nasty knocks or rattles there. We're going to go over another one. I'll be quiet. Perfect. And the engine's quite lively, isn't it? Um, what? What? Tell us a bit, little bit more about the engine, I guess, Sergi. What? Um, what size is it? The engine is a two-liter uh, engine that they put into all the, the two double O twos, except uh, with the. Google Fish uh, fuel injection. Yeah. And obviously they they um, wanted a turbo one for these, which was the first commercial European turbo I've led to believe on an official car. Okay. And it's all um, it's all mechanical. Yeah. Um, the fuel injection is uh, and, hmm. uh, the turbo has it does its job. I'm sure turbos are much better now, but. Hmm. This is the genuine original. This is the real deal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. It does feel special being out and about in it. Um, and you can see the little turbo gauge working. It's magic down there too. Um, and surprisingly, you could use this almost as an everyday car, could yes, you? Yes, of course you could. Um, I mean, the engine is um, uh, you know, really quite well behaved. I, I feel it's, uh, considering it's an early turbo car. Yes. Great, okay, well, that was a very nice little run out. I enjoyed it a lot. I would have liked to have had a little drive of it. Perhaps one day I will. Um, it certainly is a poster iconic car for me. Um, uh, probably something to do a little bit about my age as well. Uh, but no, excellent. So thank you very much for taking us out in it, Sergi. It was my pleasure to Excellent, and again, uh, please watch all the other videos in the series. Oh, that sounded very lovely. Um, and. Uh, uh, if you've got any questions or comments, as usual, then just please drop a note at the bottom of the listing and we'll get back to you. If you want to come and view the car, that's no problem. You can meet Sergi, then, uh, then please uh, give us a ring, drop us a note and we'll sort that out for you. But lovely. Thank you very much then, Sergi. Cheers. Pleasure, thank you.